what if I told you that I have a seven minute daily cleaning routine that if you incorporate into your home every day, your house is gonna be 10 times cleaner and it's gonna be 10 times easier to keep clean. I timed this whole thing to prove to you guys that this works. I have figured out I am only spending seven minutes on my daily cleaning activities. You're gonna wonder how and I'm gonna tell you. My home used to get really messy and crazy. I used to spend hours on the weekend. I don't wanna do that. You don't wanna do that. So take these seven minutes and let's do this together. Also, before we begin, I personally am a morning person and I have a lot of energy in the morning. So a lot of these things, I just bang them out in the morning. If you're not a morning person, do them whenever suits you. If you're an evening person, do it then. If you like to do things in the afternoon, do it then. You pick, kind of tailor this to your own personality and your own routine. And this routine focuses on the main living areas. I mean, when you have seven minutes, we're not deep cleaning here, right? So the first minute, you're gonna just do two things. All you're gonna do is you're gonna open up the shades, whether that's in your bedroom. I don't, I don't have windows in my bedroom. So I'm opening up the shades in my house. I do that as soon as I wake up, I let that sunlight in. Then you're gonna make your bed. If you can't make your bed and make it fit within this one minute thing, I urge you to get rid of some of your textiles, the throw pillows, the blankets. I've just cut it down. I can make my bed so fast. I could probably make it in 30 seconds if I was really pushing myself, but whatever you can do to cut down on that stuff. I also have found out that a lot of textiles in your room contribute to dust. I actually have a video on dust that's coming out soon and how you eliminate it in your house. And one of my tips is about getting rid of some of those textiles because not only are they dust magnets, they're also creating dust. Those fabrics are breaking down and they're going into the air and creating dust. And so the less you have, trust me, the better. Second minute, we are gonna do a quick bathroom clean, a quick wipe down. Just this morning, I cleaned my whole shower and I really did do this in less than a minute. So there's a few things you can do because we're doing this daily. So just pick one thing to do every day. Maybe you're gonna clean out your toilet very quickly. I like to do that whenever the inspiration strikes. Maybe you're just gonna do your sink. Quickly clean out your sink. Maybe you're washing your hands and you wanna wash your sink. You should always leave just like a bottle of cleaner underneath your sink in your bathroom. That way it's easy to grab. You just spray it in there, wipe it out, you're done. And bathrooms get really dusty. So I don't know about you, but whenever I go to someone's home and I use their bathroom, if I see dust on the baseboards, I don't know what it is, but then I think, mm, I, I don't know if the bathroom's clean. So I also use this minute, I just take a piece of toilet paper and I just get rid of all the dust that I can see on the baseboards. The bathrooms in particular, for some reason, my bathroom gets very dusty. And so I find if I can just quickly dust from time to time using that one minute to do it, keeps the bathroom a lot cleaner. And speaking of the shower, so I'll just tell you what I do. And I, I always thought this was super weird. I put it in my first YouTube video. Maybe it was my like second YouTube video that I ever made. And I was terrified that I was going to get comments from people saying that it was like horrific. Why would you do something like this? But basically I clean my shower while I'm in it and I will never go back to doing it the other way. All I do is I take a spray bottle and I fill it up with some water. I add a little bit of dish soap, a few squirts, and then I add some vinegar. Then I shake up the mixture, I take it and I spray down my whole bathroom. I spray down the walls, I spray down the chrome and the fixtures, and then I let it sit. I go get myself ready for the shower, whatever I need to do, maybe let five, 10 minutes go by, and then I get into the shower, and while I'm in between steps, maybe I'm waiting for my deep conditioner to set in, I'll just grab a sponge and clean the whole shower. The solution that I've made had done all of that work by sitting on the shower walls. The reason why you do water, dish soap, and vinegar, the dish soap helps the solution stick to the walls, and then the vinegar tackles the water and soap scum and all of the deposits on your wall. And then you just give it some time to work and you just brush it off, rinse it out, you're good to go. Honestly, life-changing tip. By the way, if you enjoy content like this, don't forget to subscribe, click that button below, it's free. The third minute you are gonna use for laundry and you're going to do anything related to laundry because I feel like in my house there's always something related to laundry. I do not do my laundry every day. I do it twice a week, however, I find that there's always something going on, whether laundry that needs to be folded, clothes that need to be picked up and put away, whether the laundry needs to be, the kids stuff needs to be put away. I mean, there's all kinds of things with laundry, right? So just take that minute, maybe the minute is being used, putting the laundry into the washer, moving it to the dryer, 
folding, telling your kids to fold, that takes less than a minute. The fourth minute we're gonna use for our kitchen and this is going to be all about the dishes and a quick tidy. If you need to empty your dishwasher, I know that's gonna take longer than a minute. Kinda gotta give and take a little bit here, but I have timed my dishwasher. It takes me four minutes to empty it. What I like to do in my kitchen is I'll set a timer and just kind of see if I can beat myself. I mean, sometimes I just like to make things into a game because that keeps me motivated to do them and then it almost spurs me into action, but I'll set a timer and I'll see how long I can get it done. I can always get it done in five, six, seven minutes, even if I have a whole sink full of dishes. Use this minute it, clean off the counters, do the dishes. Trust me, you don't want to have this sink full of dishes in a big messy kitchen because what I find happens when your kitchen gets messy and then everybody sees that your kitchen is messy, like your whole family, they start just making it messier and then they start making the living room messier and it's just snowballing. The fifth minute is going to be a general house tidy. If your home is anything like mine, stuff just ends up everywhere where it doesn't belong. You've got kids' backpacks all over the living room, people's jackets, shoes, what, what have you. It just generally needs a quick tidy. So I can spend 60 seconds, put everything back where it belongs, and get the house into a neater sense of order. The sixth minute, I like to take this time to prepare for the, for the morning. I have found that if I can spend a couple of minutes preparing myself for the morning, I can save 10, 15, 20 minutes in the morning just because I've prepared myself a little bit. Some of the things that I like to do is I will make my coffee, I will put that on a timer, I will put the kids' backpacks by the front door, I'll put snacks in there so that their backpacks are ready to go. I'll pick out my outfit, especially if I'm going into the office in the morning. I do not wanna be standing in my closet in the morning just staring at it, wondering what I should wear. And look, we're already at minute seven. This is where you're going to do the floors. I saved this one for last because a lot of times when I am tidying the house, getting ready for the morning, making the coffee, cleaning the dishes. I kind of just like throw stuff onto the floor, right? I'm not worried about crumbs in the kitchen. I'm just cleaning off the counters. If crumbs get on the floor, that's fine because I know minute seven is going to be when I'm going to pull up my Roomba and let it go around the house and vacuum. And if you don't have a Roomba or if you do and you still want to do this, just get a little handheld vacuum cleaner and vacuum the high traffic areas in your home. For me, it's certainly the front door, definitely the kitchen and even the living room. So just kind of on that first floor, I do a quick little vacuum, it takes less than a minute, gets rid of all those crumbs that might be down there. It just really keeps the house looking clean and tidy. And if you think that this vacuuming step isn't important, let me just tell you a quick little thing. We recently got new floors. We used to have this very light colored bamboo. Now we have white oak floors. For some reason, I can see so much dust and dirt on the new floors. Thank God we didn't get black or very dark floors because then it would be even worse. But we can, I can see the dirt and dust on the floor. Just knowing that, it's really making me realize the importance of vacuuming every day. Maybe you don't have the same kind of stuff going in on your home, so use your judgment. You know, I've got three kids. Sometimes they walk around and eat despite me telling them not to. We watch a lot of dogs, so we'll often have just stuff tracked in from the outside or dog hair. So use your judgment on how often to vacuum, but for me personally, our floor gets very dusty and dirty, and that's why that Roomba is for sure a lifesaver. Okay, guys, that is my seven-minute daily cleaning routine. I hope that it helped you. If you want some more cleaning tips, I'm gonna link a cleaning playlist for you. Go ahead and click it. I'll see you over there. Bye-bye.